We have been living with whole house infrared heating for two winters now, and we absolutely love it. Uh, the first winter that we lived here after we moved from Austin, Texas to West Cork, we had an oil fired heating system. And unfortunately, that boiler, which was located in the kitchen, had a leak and spilled heating oil all over our kitchen floor, which was a huge problem. So at which point we decided we have to rethink what's going on with our house and what are the options for heating uh, our home in the winter. We just wanted a very simple heating system, easy to, to turn on, easy to turn off, easy to control. We wound up installing a six kilowatt solar system, 16 panels with battery. And that was the first thing we did in this journey of ours, but we were still dealing with the giant stinky elephant in the room, which was a leaking boiler that we could no longer use for the upcoming winter. So after a lot of research, air to water, air to air, heat pumps, uh, we kept falling back to infrared heating. And the more research I did, the more I realized there were countries that were much colder than Ireland that were using successfully infrared heating panels. Regardless of where you buy your panels from, make sure and do the research, find out where they're made, how they're made, what sort of support you have, um, if you have any issues or problems or questions setting up or what have you. It did take a while to install. Our electrician, who was amazing, spent about four days installing 17 panels here at our home. And then I can't remember, roughly 13 thermostats uh, for each room. The room fills faster with heat than it did when we were running traditional oil-fired rads. I will tell you that the product Ecosyn brand, it's top quality for the market here in Ireland. And in fact, across Europe, um, the warranty is like 15 years. If you do have a problem, you can pick up the phone because Infrared Heating Ireland is Irish. You can pick up the phone and ring Eamon and he will solve whatever problem or answer any question that you might have. So that is invaluable. Not only that, but it's supporting an Irish based company. A big, big concern has always been, well, how much do they cost to run? You cannot just switch everything on and walk away. You have to manage it. So if you're spending time in one room in the morning, heat that room up. And then if you're spending time in another room in the afternoon, lower the first room and increase the heat on the second room. And at least last year in 2023, we were spending 340 euro a month on ESB. And that includes our heating, our hot water, our all electric vehicle and our heating. That is an average for 2023 when electricity prices were absolutely the worst that they've ever been here in Ireland. So a lot of people will, their heads will pop off. They will be like 340 euro a month. My God, that's a lot of money. But I also have to remind people, I was also spending close to 2,900 euro on heating oil. And that was just for the winter because we have solar. Our summer bills are basically nothing. Uh, I have to average out and look at our electricity bill over 12 months to get a good overall big picture look. And when I look at that and I see what we're paying monthly, it works for us. We're home all the time. We do not go to office and shut everything down. We wake up, we are here. But I think that if you're honest and you look at what it costs you to run, say an oil-fired heating system, what you're paying in, in heating oil prices, you're not gonna find much of a difference. I cannot ever, ever, ever see going back to traditional oil-fired heating, ever. People that come over, come inside, they're wondering, where is the heat coming from? I feel it, but I don't see it. I have to point at the ceilings and say, well, they're from our heating panels. It just basically sells itself once people come and witness and view and feel the infrared panels. We all wanna be warm in the winter. And for us, our home, it is now incredibly warm and we couldn't be more thrilled.